So you're going to show us around the office and yep. show us the different departments? Yeah, of course. <laughs> uh, so this is the cafeteria. This is where we are eating every day. We have this beautiful kitchen with tons of like microwaves and fridge and all that. Uh, some bookshelves. And you here you have some really interesting things such as like all the numbers from Sound and Sound, vinyls from the Beatles, like wow. whatever. Yeah. Um, coffee space. Come here pretty often, <laughs> and uh, yeah, the building is kind of big. Uh, we are how we are, many are you? We are 130, I think. Wow! Now. I mean, uh, today and um, today it's quite empty. Because yeah. Yesterday was a bank holiday in France, and yeah. uh, and because the bank holiday was on a Thursday, uh, and today we are <laughs> Friday, then yeah. people just took a, uh, a day off. But uh, it's usually packed. Yeah, people. Yeah, 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 there are a lot of people here. So that's like a conference room here yeah. with awards. Yeah, there are a lot of awards here, uh, like ranging from 2000. I don't know, like, don't know which one is the oldest, but here we have 2000 uh, keyboard magazine. And we have even older, I think. Yeah, these ones were from some of the oldest Autria software products. Oh, that's amazing. So, yeah, this is the CEO office. CEO office, <laughs> right in reach for everybody. <laughs> yeah, uh, this is our sales department. Uh, again, a lot of people in holidays, unfortunately. Other people from sales. Uh, another product management office here. I mean, this is amazing having all the instruments. Yeah, yeah. But uh, let's go downstairs. Uh, we'll show you around. We have. Uh, So here we are in the other side of the building. I'm try not to be too loud. So this is the after sales. Uh, so we have people working here on fixing products. Uh, we have a big stock of products as well. This is Joris, uh, who's currently fixing a drum bird. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, we have uh, tons of spare parts. Uh, we're doing most of the after sales uh, internally. Also all of the merch. Yeah, some merch here. That's all we find. So, yeah, after sales and support team. So we have people here in France, some other in Mexico. Yeah. Uh, to be sure to have like 24 hours of uh, availability for our customer service. That's amazing. This is Hello, nice to meet you. And then more missing people. <laughs> <laughs> more offices. Yeah, let's move on. <laughs> uh, yeah, some empty offices for the moment. <laughs> A ton of mess because we just came back from our, from our seminar. Uh, this is uh, people working. Uh, this is our QA technicians. Yeah. They are making sure that Hi. everything on our products uh, is working properly. Yeah. Uh, and testing the plugins, the hardware. That's amazing. Uh, all that. Um, and then restrooms. <laughs> Very cool restrooms. <laughs> yeah. More people. This is the audio department right here. So these are the people who are. Uh, working on the audio interfaces, the next generation and all that. Oh my God. Uh, this is Robert, who's currently working on probably super interesting stuff. Uh, this guy's really, really, really fucking talented. Wow. Um, <clears throat> here we have the hardware developers. And here is the, uh, the open space of the software developers. So people who are working on V collection, FX collection, pigments, Hi all again. that. Uh, again, a lot of people working remotely or in vacation. Uh, yeah, we have another studio uh, right here as well. I don't know if you've been in that one. Yeah, these are the Simons EQs that we've replicated in the Sidetroll EQ. Yeah, they're amazing. Uh, From the 60s, right? Yeah, yeah. They were used in old uh, consoles, uh, like German consoles. I love them. Uh, Audio Fuse 8 Pre. It's great that you actually added the the visualizer to it. Mm -hmm, yeah, it makes so, it like much better. Yeah, the Audio Fuse. It's way yeah. Audio Fuse Studio. It's kind of a mess here. I'm sorry about that. No worries. Used to be better. Yeah. Uh, so this is the big, big old boy. 
Oh my god. Uh, Yamaha like... CSAT, original <laughs> one. The first analog six voices of polyphony with polyphonic aftertouch. One of the heaviest and most expensive synthesizers yeah, it is. in the world. <laughs> and there is a way. Yeah, check this out. It's fucking crazy inside. There is a way to open it even more, but I don't want to break anything. What's really interesting to see on this synth is that it's all made of wood. There is no metal whatsoever on the chassis. Wow. So, yeah, just look at the side of the power supply for this and imagine how warm it can get. <laughs> the transformer is fucking huge. Yeah, I mean, I, if you move this, does it like... Uh, uh, we, we don't move it, actually. You don't move it. Yeah, there is, uh, we had issues with that, like... I, I mean, not even us, but everyone who owns uh, yeah, CS18 yeah. knows that. When you move it, you break it. And, and even, we, we moved it from the, the big studio to yeah. here, and we, we broke it. Like, uh, that's, this is as simple as that. Uh, this is one of the DSP offices. Uh, this is the Prophet 5 that we've reproduced in uh, V Collection. Uh, yeah, tons of gear. Uh, people here are make, making all the math to make sure that the products that we're making are sounding. They are just magicians to me. Uh, they're they're yeah. doing the math to make the product sound good. Yep. And um, yeah. And this is the product management office. Uh, I work right here. Nice. Uh, and the other guys uh, working here are from the audio. Uh, here you have the Mini Fuse 4 uh, that has been announced and that will be released quite soon. Uh, yeah, this is a working unit uh, shipping. The, and does it have like four line inputs? Yeah, yeah you have uh, four inputs, four outputs. Uh, very well positioned in terms of price. The preamps are really good. Yep. So yeah, and my beautiful guitar that I love yes. a lot. <laughs> I love Telly's. Yeah, Telly Custom 62. Oh, yes. Nice one. Gorgeous, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is another uh, DSP office. Uh, yeah, again, the mathematicians. <laughs> the geniuses, the magicians. Oh, yeah, this, one, this office is quite cool. Uh, unfortunately, no one is present uh, today, but it's the, it's the sound design office. So we have uh, five sound designers and what? they have like individual boxes and their goal is to make the best presets possible uh, for our instruments and effects. And uh, yeah. How, how do I get a job here? Yeah, like they're that? making music and, and finding the best presets and the best sounds and everything. Uh, what? We're working quite close to these guys. Uh, we have Lily, who is really talented, Jean-Michel, who has been working for the company for more than 10 years. Uh, Maxime, Florian, all these guys, Quentin, yeah. are just amazing. Wow. So, yeah, one of the offices. Uh, so, this is so they are like allowed to do music. Si side projects and stuff and just yeah. use the R2 stuff. Yeah, yeah, of course. So, this is another one. Wow. And oh, Focal? Yeah, we're only using Focal speaker here. I mean, we are French, so we are trying to use French gear, you know? Yeah. Uh, so this is the second one, and the third one is Maxim's office. These spaces are temporary. Uh, and yeah, this is the third office. Again, it's a bit messy. We just came back from our seminar, but uh, uh, let's turn on the lights. Oh, the modulars. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, some you, modules are from... They uh, have to do modulars in... No. No? No, we're not, we're not even remotely thinking about doing that. Really? Yeah, there are more, there are more brands that are making modulars than people that use them. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. So, and back to the studio. That is back to the studio. a mess, but... Uh, so, do you know annoying. how the... Even though you're not involved in the V collection, do you know yeah. how the process of sampling goes? Uh, sampling. Oh, you mean for uh, for the augmented things? No, for this ones. Like they they buy the synth and then how do they replicate it? Do you know how? Oh, um, it's not really sampling. It's it's really math. Math. So yeah. They understand how they come. <coughs> they worked. The way it works is that first we get the units. Uh, like for this, yeah. For example, this mini mug is from the seventies, original one. 
we got the unit and we spent a lot of time uh, <coughs> trying them, putting oscilloscopes uh, everywhere on the circuitry and stuff and, and doing measurements. And then, uh, thanks to the schematics, we, we just approximate things uh, to make, to, 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 just, uh, to just have mathematical equations that when you get this signal on the input, you get that signal on the output. Right. So we, we find the right equations and then we have a lot of things going on with our patented technology TAE. I can't tell you much more about that, but, uh, but we're using a very specific process that make these sound really accurate and, uh, and as close as possible. So we're getting better every year. Uh, this is why we've decided to update this uh, year the CSAT uh, and the two profits. And this is why they are also sounding way, way, way better than the previous ones. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, to me, these guys at DSP are just magicians. Uh, yeah. it's, it's crazy how close we can get from the original units uh, now. You know, uh, if I take the example of the Korg MS-20, which is right here, and it, which is one of my favorite synths like, of all time. Yeah, uh, me too. The, the, <laughs> the work they've made on this oscillator and, and filter is just amazing. Yeah, and except I mean, for the Mini. <laughs> yeah. I, I have the Mini and I cannot stand the amount of noise it has. Oh, you mean the original unit? Yeah, like, like the, the Mini Korg MS-20, yeah. like the, the small factor. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's really noisy. Really noisy. But if you take this one, like, which is, this one is a Mark I MS-20, like, so one of the very, very first units. Wow. And the replica we've made in V-Collection, yeah. I mean, we can be really proud of how it sounds. Yeah, like, and no noise. The sound all. of this filter is so, yeah. so good. Yeah, because when you just start like, yeah. and, and add it, do it's, it like that, it just, and then apply LFO to this, yeah. it just goes back berserk. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's one of the best recreations we've made, in my opinion. Yeah, it was one of the things. I actually bought the, 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 the mini yeah. version. I used to have one as well. Because I, I, I just needed the filters. Mm. Those filters, are like you just cannot get anything else. That's because of the like the active. Yeah, they are active, of course. Uh, as soon as you have resonance and, and that you can go up, then it's active, of course. Yeah. yeah uh, and it doesn't lose the volume, it starts to yeah, distort. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fantastic. Uh, you have a clavinet here, DSX. You have the sequencer, the original for the Korg. Um, SQ10. Uh, here you have the Mellotron, like the, the good old Mellotron. This one, original SEM. Uh, wow. It's on US voltage though, so I don't have any transformer. This one is the big boy. And this is the guts of a Mellotron. You have all the different uh, like tapes here that are attached. And the way it works is that when you press a key on the keybed, it, uh, it pushes the, the tape onto a wheel and it, and it makes it spin. Yeah. And you have a playhead right here that reads the tape. So you have, I don't know, like how many keys? Like this is 32 keys. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit old because of these five. But you have one tape, one, he one head for each single sound. Right. So if back then when, when they were doing this with flutes and orchestras and stuff, they had to record 25 different bands and yeah. the, the tapes and to be able to play them. And this one as well, if you move it, it gets, uh, you have to calibrate it again. Yeah, also, <laughs> and what's really funny is that uh, since, the, since the tape aren't unlimited, you can only play the notes for a, for a definite time. So usually it lasts for 10 seconds and at the end, it's the end of the tape so you don't have any sound anymore. And it craps out the sound yeah, yeah. in a really interesting way. <laughs> it sounds amazing. Sounds amazing. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome, man.